evaluating algebraic expressions. Let's get started, guys. My name is Jason Jacobs, and we're going to learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions now. Uh, we're going to evaluate these four algebraic expressions when t equals 8, w equals a half, and x equals 3. Here we go, guys. The first step an algebraic expression will have variables in it. Variables represent a, a unknown number, but here we know what the number is. So the first thing we want to do is substitute the value of these variables in the algebraic expression. We're not going to try to solve it right away. We're just going to substitute that number in and rewrite them numerically. So in essence, we're going to um, take an algebraic expression, replace the numbers, substitute the numbers in, and make it a uh, numerical expression. Let's do that now. So t equals 8. I'm not going to try to do, this means 3 times t. I'm not going to do 3 times 8 right away. I'm just going to keep it simple and just rewrite it algebraically, or numerically. 3 times 8 minus 8. So the first step, I wrote the algebraic expression numerically. The next step is to follow the order of operations, which is parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication and division from left to right, whichever one comes first. Then addition and subtraction from left to right, whichever one comes first. Here we go. Multiplication first, so we have 24 minus 8. 24 minus 8, that is 16. So we, um, we evaluated the first algebraic expression. Let's go on to the next one. First step is substitute the values in. Why don't you pause the video and give this one a try? So we're gonna substitute these values in for w and x. So six times when the coefficient is next to the variable, that means you multiply. Six times, what is w? A half, so six times a half. Divided by x, x is three, plus nine. All right, what comes first? Multiplication or division? Well, multiplication or division, First come, first serve. So in this case, multiplication. Now, six times a half, that's three. Half of six is three. So we have three divided by three plus nine. Well, division comes before addition, so three divided by three is one plus nine, and that equals ten. Let's go on to this one. First step, write this out numerically. Substitute these values in. So we go 8 squared minus 12 times w, w is 1 half, divided by 3. All right, first parentheses, no, nope. how about exponents? Yeah, we have some exponents. 8 squared means 8 times 8. 8 multiplied by 8, that's 64, minus 12 times 1 half, divided by 3. And now we do the multiplication here. 6 times a half, that's 6, so 64 minus 6 divided by 3. And now 6 divided by 3 is next, so we have 64 minus 2. I hope you can see that. And 64 minus 2 is 62. Pause the video, give this one a try. All right, first things first, I'm going to substitute these values in. I'm saying the word substitute these values in, substitute, because that's... That's what we do, you'll see that a lot. So five times three, x is three, minus two times one half, plus t is eight. All right, let's give this a try. So first is parentheses, nope. Exponents, nope. Multiplication, yeah. So we have 15 minus, and I'm gonna do this term now too. Two times a half is one, plus eight. Ah, here's a really great example, guys, because what comes first, subtraction or addition? Well, up here, if you look up at PEMDAS, it looks like addition comes first, but it's um, first come, first serve. That's why the arrow's there. So it really could say SA instead of AS. So subtraction come first, first come, first serve, and 15 minus 1 is 14 plus 8. And 14 plus 8 is 22. 
And we have evaluated algebraic expressions by first turning them in, by substituting the values in and turning them into numerical expressions and following the order of operations. My name is Jason Jacobs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and keep doing your math. Subscribe if you want to. Give it a like. I'll see you later. Bye.